Hello, Earth Signs. Welcome to your reading, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. I hope all is well with you, and I hope you're having a beautiful, wonderful, and awesome day. Okay, we're going to do the same setup, but I'm going to give it a little twist, okay? We're going to get the leading energy, the supporting energy, and then I'm going to get a reading, a reason for the reading, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Please keep in mind that this reading is general, the energies are fluid, and the message is timeless. All right, let's rock. Holy Spirit, what is the leading energies for my collective air signs? Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, did I say this was a general reading? So anything could come out. It could be money, love, career, finances, whatever Holy Spirit and my spirit guides and angels and my ancestors have to say to you, earth signs, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, what's the leading energy of my Tauruses? Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Holy Spirit, can you kick it out? Okay. Ooh, we have truth, judgment here. Mm, you searching for the truth? Okay. This is you also too being judged by truth. This is for some of you guys. Okay. Some of you guys could be going to court telling the truth. Okay. I'm just saying this is for some of you guys. The truth about a decision here. We have emotional withdrawal. Okay. Okay. And then we have intuition. And then we have love begins. Is there a truth about something that you already know or already knew here? And it's like you, you're coming under judgment or you're bringing judgment about this truth here. This is the high priestess energy here. But with this high priestess, high priestess looking at love begin, it's kind of making me feel like you reconciling with somebody that you was emotionally withdrawn from. Because see, the high priestess got her back turned from this emotional withdrawal and face with love begins. And with this judgment energy, aka reconciliation energy, is making me feel like somebody that you was emotionally withdrawn from. Oh yeah, new love begins. I'm just saying, crown chakra right here. And here go the hair fit right here. I can't make this up. Okay, this feels like a, a, a replay, a, a second go around, um, a resurgence in love, um, going back to somebody you love, something of the sort. But it's making me feel like a resurgence of an already established relationship. Or this is somebody that you had deep feelings for with all this emotional right here, emotional withdrawal. Somebody that you had really, really deep feelings for that you had to pull back your energies or pull back your emotions from. Y'all got a second time. A second time around, a, a second go around, okay? This is for some of you guys. Holy Spirit, what is supporting that leading energy? The truth came out. This, this is why you, the, the person that you emotionally detach from, or it could be something. Something that you left, okay? Because emotional emotions, it could be a job, it could be a career, it could be something that you had to emotionally detach from. You're having a second time or a second go around with that same person, place, or thing. It is a noun. It is something that you, you had deep feelings for, something or someone, okay? Let's roll. Holy Spirit. What is supporting the leading energy? Thing? Oh, no, that's way too many. Uh -uh. Oh, no, we're not doing that. But that's a lot supporting this leading energy. Okay, but can we cut that down to one? Thank you. We have the king of earth. There you go, earth sign. Taurus Capricorn Virgo. It says, a successful time. Confidently accept opportunities you're offered. The Midas touch, baby. Some of you guys looking could have been some type of judgment <laughs> going into your favor. Okay, something that you, you couldn't get emotional about. Okay, or this is someone that you had, you had to pull back from. And here you go. The king of pentacles or the king of earth here. It's a, it's a family energy. This is a family man, a family person. You know, it's somebody that has a lot of good roots here. Um, a lot of stability and abundance is here. Okay, so some of you guys, some of you Tauruses, Capricorns. Virgos with the truth. The truth, let me tell you, if you happen to deal with a legal matter, 
this judgment is going to work out in your favor. Okay? It is. So if you're going through some type of legal issues, lawsuits, things of the sort, that judgment is coming out in your favor. And that's the doggone honest truth. Okay? That's for some of you guys at the bottom of the deck. We have the two of earth. A lot of earth energy here. And it says, too much going on at once. I need to make a decision. Consider more playful approach here. Yeah. yeah. I can see that. I can see that. Yeah, because you're emotionally withdrawn because your intuition has been screaming at you, but you're not, you're ignoring this here. You're ignoring how emotional, um, how, how should I say, you're, you're ignoring the loss of emotions that you had to have in a situation, some type of um, judgment here. It could be legal or it could be spiritual judgment. And you're looking at this brand new love begins, baby. This is also too for some of you earth signs. You're not feeling sorry for yourself anymore. Mm -mm. You're not feeling sorry for yourself anymore. You refuse to. Okay. All right. Holy Spirit, what is the reason for the reading? What is the reason for the reading? Please and thank you. We'll take it. Distant horizons. This is future expectations or something that you're pulling up. Anchor is what I heard. You're not feeling like that no more. You're not going to be in lack anymore. Okay? Abundance is coming. You pulling up acre from being in the energy of lack here. But this king of earth, king of pentacles right here, look, this king of pentacles came from somewhere. Okay? You just, you just don't start off as the king of pentacles. Like I said, for some of you guys, you got a judgment here. Okay? In the distant horizon. So it could be, you know, a little time for this judgment to, to come to how should I say, come out in your favor here. We have the spirit at the bottom of the deck. I did not tell you you coming out of lack. And look, the adjudication and despair, you see what I'm saying? You're coming out some type of lack here. Okay, it's going to be some type of judgment in your favor, but right now, baby, you're feeling like you you at a loss here. Okay, but the truth is here. Okay, you have the distant horizons. You're pulling up anchor. I told you, you're pulling up anchor out of this despair, baby. With this big-ass king of pentacles here, shit. And that's the God honest truth. Some judgment, either spiritual, legal, or financial, is going in your favor. Let's roll. Holy Spirit, what can you tell me? What message do you have for my earth signs? What message do you have for my earth signs? You're not going to be in a lack energy. You're not going to be emotionally withdrawn anymore. This is like a new cycle in life. And look at, look at here. Look at here. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you know. The nine of cups, your first energy out. You see what I'm saying? These are happy times. Happy-go-lucky times. Why? Because, yeah. Yeah, it worked out in your favor. You go up, going out celebrating here. Watch your drinking. This is a nine of cups. Watch your drinking. Earth signs, I'm just saying. This is the first energies out. And you got a, a cup in your hand. And they all lined up around. So watch it. When this judgment, when you get this financial judgment in your favor, please watch it. Watch your drinking. I'm just saying. But this is a celebratory energy. Okay? The nine of cups is wishes and dreams being fulfilled. You got it. Look at you happy, you you celebrating and everything. Look at you, the, the Knight of Cups. Baby, I told you, you're going back, you're going towards love, you're going towards um, emotional fulfillment here because with the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Cups, it's the Ten of Cups. That's why I said, you turned your back from this emotional withdrawal, feeling emotionally lost or the lack thereof, using your intuition and you're going towards a new love. Love begins, I'm just saying. Mm. It's, like a, it's like a brand new world. It's like a, a brand new energy, a brand new journey, a brand new cycle here. And then we have the Three of Cups. I told you, join in celebration here. Join celebration. This is also too reconcili a reconciliation energy too as well. But look at this. These are all cups. And then we have the food. I told you, you're in a new cycle in life. There is no more lack and loss in your life here. This is Aries energy as well. Okay? Honey, boom. Very emotional. With this emotional withdrawal here, very emotional here. It's like you changed. 
the energy is changed. Okay, um, something that you lost emotions about or lost some feelings for, then I'm starting to feel like a person. For a lot of you guys, it's starting to feel like a person. Somebody that you pulled your energies from, shit. There was some type of understanding, especially with that intuition here. And now you're on a new cycle. Especially dealing with love. Okay? All right, Holy Spirit. What else can you tell me? All right, thank you. I'll take them. Look, we have the King of Swords energy. This is also two judgment energy. Okay? Head over heart decisions is here. Okay? This is an authority energy here. Okay? It's like a militant authority. Don't play no games. Very smart and intelligent energy here. This is you not being fooled anymore. Ooh, look with the fool and the king of swords. You're not being fooled anymore. You're not going to be nobody's fool. Okay? And I keep hearing anymore. This is why you're in a new cycle in love right here. Because you're not going to be anybody's fool anymore. Look at that lack and loss. Five of Pentacles. Look at that lack and loss. Fives are changing. Okay, this is a change energy, but there, there is some type of lack and loss that you're experiencing. It could be financially or it could be in a relationship here, but with that five energy changing, you're coming out of this. This is why I said with that king of earth right here, this king of earth came from this five of pentacles here. This king of earth, this king of pentacles do not become the king of pentacles. You, can just, you, just, you just don't be born the king of pentacles. I mean, you could be born with a silver spoon in your mouth, but when you become a grown person, you got to keep them pentacles. You got to know how to create and nurture and save and, and, and operate in having all of those pinnacles, that abundance here. You, it's one thing to get abundance. It's another thing to maintain it. Okay. Magician here. <laughs> Aries energy again. So you can have Aries heavily in your chart or you could be dealing with an Aries. But with the magician, this is giving me Aries Pisces energy. Okay, but with the air, ooh, you're creating new love. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. You're creating, you're manifesting new love, either to come in or go towards here. Or this is something that you love as well. I gotta say, it's something or someone that you love that you had to pull your emotions away from. You know, it could be a job, it could be like a dream that you had to put on the back burner because life just happens, you know. This could be going back to school, starting that business, creating that idea, something of the sort, or a person that you had to pull back from. You had to put it on the back burner, but not anymore. It's front and center here now, okay? With this judgment energy, this judgment energy means that somebody gained some type of understanding. That's what judgment is. This is why the truth is here, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, what else can you tell me? Thank you. Okay, we have a flipper and a dropper. We have the Ten of Swords right here. Tens are endings here. It could have been something that happened to you that your hands were tied, you couldn't do nothing about, and it came to a painful ending. Here's the reason why you have to withdraw your emotions here. But Tens are endings that lead to beginnings here because when you reduce this Ten down, it, come, it becomes a one, so it becomes the Ace of Swords. So this is brand new beginnings, victory, you know what I mean? But with this hands tied and this stabbing behind the back is making me feel like you couldn't, it was something that you couldn't stop. This is also to betrayal energy. This is a stuck energy, like you couldn't stop it. You couldn't stop this from happening. But now it's over, baby. It's at the 10. You will not go through this anymore, Period. Or for this cycle, I should say. I can't say period because that means that you will never go through anything in life again. And that's a lie. We talking about the truth here. But in this cycle or in this energies are dealing with this situation. Yeah, it's, it's ending. It's ending. That is ending. And with this three of wands coming out, that's because there's something else that's coming in. Or there's something else that you're going after here. But this full energy, you damn right. You damn right. This is the end of a difficult cycle because you're going after more. Okay, you learned your lesson. The full energy is the, the first card in the deck. So this is a new journey here. This is a new experience here. You see what I'm saying? It's making me feel like um, it could be a new cycle with an old person. I just got to put it out there. And then we have the queen of pentacles. Now you have the king and the queen of pentacles. You see what I'm saying? New cycle with an old person. 
you guys energy energetically match you know you like the same thing some of you guys are y'all both materialistic y'all both like nice things y'all both like to look good smell good feel good things of the sort both of you guys also like good food is what i'm saying okay but there's a lot of earth here and there's a lot of water here so you could be dealing with a water sign cancer pisces scorpio um aries is out here too very strong here okay or a water sign i mean a, um air sign Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, okay? At the bottom of the deck. Here we go, nothing, some money. Let me tell you, Earth signs, you got a lot of abundance around you. Page of Pentacles is here. This is um, offers. This is opportunities. This is financial offers, financial opportunities, or something that is materialistic here. Uh, I just said y'all was too materialistic. <laughs> look it, look it, look it, look at the tower and the ace of cups. This is the tower sitting next to this page of pentacles and this ace of cups. It's a brand new opportunity in love. Okay. Something had to fall down in order to be rebuilt. Like I said, it could have been you. It's a resurgence of a new love. It's a resurgence of new love in an old situation. This is for some of you guys. Or this is a resurgence of a new love for something that was old. An old dream. An old aspiration. Something of the sort. Damn. Okay. Let's clarify. Let's clarify. It's like it's making me feel like when all hope was lost, boom. Here come that opportunity that changed your life and gave you a brand new beginning in life. Okay? Let's clarify the full energy. Let's see. Let's clarify the full energy. I want to see what the full energy is. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's clarify the full energy for my earth signs, please. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, only, I'm not going to clarify all of them, just the ones I need to clarify. Oh my God, that's a lot. Okay. All right. We're going to take them. Let's see. The Ace of Pentacles, a lot of money. A lot of money. The Ace of Pentacles clarifying the fool. Baby, you got a lot of money coming into you. You got a lot of stability and abundance here. And look, we have the world energy. Didn't I tell you? You closed out old cycles. Okay. The fool... Um, the fool comes after the world and the world energy is, it's like, uh, it, that old cycle is closed. This is why you on this new journey in life and it's very prosperous. So it's making me feel like for you guys, some of you guys, if you had that old dream, that old aspiration, that old idea, that old business, um, idea that you have, please, please start it up, get back into it. Because if you do, it will be very prosperous. Okay. Chase that dream because that energy for you to achieve that dream is here. Okay? And then we have the three of wands again. Looking out in the horizons to see what's better out there. I like that. And then we have the fool. Look at, I'm, I, can't, I can't make this up. You have the fool in the world. You see what I'm saying? Out with the old, in with the new. This is what I'm saying. For some of you guys, it could be an old relationship or old situation that's coming back around anew. This could be new energies in an old, per uh, old person. <laughs> it could be older person, okay? But yeah, that old dream that died, honey, boom, it's a resurgence of it. Or that old connection or that, 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 that old experience, something. Something is being renewed here and it's working out in your favor and it's a blessing, an abundant of blessings, okay? All right, let's clarify the um, magician, please, Holy Spirit. Yeah, distant horizons, yeah. Pulling up, that's what I'm saying, baby. This is new, new dreams, new energy, the newness of, of a situation or a relationship, okay? Resurgence of it, okay? You know what? Let me tell you, tell, you, tell you guys something, too. If you are in a connection, and it's old, and it's, it's stale, and y'all just going through the motions and things like that, that's the end of that cycle, okay? It's going to be a new resurgence of love, caring, commitment, kind. I mean, it's just going to be a brand new relationship if you're already in a connection, okay? Let's roll. Um, let's clarify this magician. Thank you. Look, Ten of Cups, you're creating your own happiness, for fulfillment of wishes, too. Okay, this is also, also too emotional fulfillment here. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Hey, baby. 
There's a lot of love here. Whatever you was emotionally withdrawn from is coming back. Either you're going back to it or it's coming back to you. It's making me feel like you're going back to, you know, or somebody's coming back to reconcile and to give you. You had the Ten of Cups out here twice. You're going to be so happy. You're going to be so happy. Let's clarify this Five of Coins here. And then I'm, I'm going to clarify the Five of Coins and the Ten of Swords, and then I'm going to get out of here. Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. The Nine of Swords in the reverse. You ain't worried about that. If you lost some money, lost a connection, or just lost that old feeling, not, uh uh, you ain't worried about that. That Nine of Swords is in reverse, baby. Okay, this is the end of anxiety, is what I'm feeling, and this is what I'm hearing. Uh huh, uh huh. Why is the Nine of Swords in reverse? Let's, let's clarify that. Why is the Nine of Swords in reverse? You cleared that energy. Okay, all that anxiety, all them sleepless nights, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. That cycle is over. Why is the nine of swords in reverse? Holy Spirit, thank you. The seven of wands, because you stood up for yourself. You stood your ground and you stood up for yourself. Look at all these people trying to come at you. You like shit. Bag off me. Okay? When, when all of this ten of swords energy was trying to come at you, you stood your ground and you said shit. This is why that nine of energies is in the reverse. You're not worried about them no more. Okay? Look. Look at his face. He ain't worried about what's coming at him. You're at the ready, baby. Beautiful. Okay. Let's clarify the Ten of Swords. Look. <laughs> I picked it up and looked at the bottom of the deck and the star energy, Aquarian energy is here. Okay. Let's clarify the Ten of Swords. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I appreciate it. We have the Four of Cups. <laughs> Rejection here. Okay, now somebody could have rejected you or you could have rejected somebody here. This is about that emotional withdrawal. But once you did that rejection, boom, there's a new energy of love here. Okay, there's a new energy. That is over. Um, somebody is, this is giving me a spoiled energy. So it could be an end of that. Being spoiled. Somebody was waiting on you to love them. You was waiting on them to love you. It's the end of that. Uh-uh. Somebody also, too, could be feeling betrayed because they've been rejected and felt like it was nothing they could do about it. That's the end of that. Yeah, with this despair energy. Yeah. Somebody could have felt that they, they were stabbed in the back because they were rejected here. Okay? This is you or somebody. But with the adjudication up under there, that is going to be rectified, especially with this big-ass judgment right here. That is going to be rectified, babe. Okay? What we have at the bottom of the deck? We have the two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, juggling energy. Up and down. You also, too, have two opportunities or two offers here. Okay? Or, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. With this temperance energy, let me tell you, this juggling energy is, is, is going to be rectified because you have the temperance right, up, right after the two of pentacles. This is a cease and desist, I heard. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is the end of that. This is peace of mind. This is also to ebb and flow within yourself and within spirit. Okay? Ebb and flow. This is this is like a soothing energy, a calming energy. Hence the reason why the nine of swords is in reverse. A calming energy because you was in an up and down energy. Not anymore with this big ass temperance here. Sagittarius energy. I think the fuck not. Uh-uh. I think the fuck not. Okay? All right. Look at him, yeah, the will of fortune, which is the will of the year. This is good karma. This is good fortunes coming into you. Things working out in your favor. This is blessings here, baby. I heard job well done. Wow. Okay. All right, earth signs, my Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgos. I'm going to leave it right here. This is what I have for you, okay? I hope you had gotten some type of... um messages or insight into your situation i hope they help if they did please drop a comment down below i really would love to hear from you and until the next video i hope you have a beautiful awesome day till then take care bye